Hi, good morning guys. I'm here with a video on uh, what is in my Zoeva artist bag. Okay, I have a, like a small um, makeup session with my mentor as well as another friend. So I decided to video this down so that you guys can see what exactly I bring for that um, that session. Okay, this is a Zoeva artist bag. Uh, I've already bought it for about six months and I still love it till today because it's big. Uh, it's very small. It's about the size of my palm but slightly bigger. Um, but it holds a lot of stuff. I will show you what are the items I bring and it's very strong and sturdy. So, uh, this is the one that has the monogram right here. Yeah, so I really, really love this bag. So hold on for a while while I show you what's exactly what's inside my bag. So this is the rough of overview of the first compartment of the bag. Um, this is the first compartment as as you open the bag. You see, the zips are in metal, so it's very, very sturdy as well as very, very strong quality. Inside, it's made from um, synthetic, I guess. Um, fabric and I think that's really really cool because it makes cleaning so much easier that way so let me just go through with you what the items I have in my kit um, over to here are just two mesh pockets and over here I have three uh, windows that are transparent so you guys can see exactly what I have in that stuff so the first item on the left here I have the miracle bio essence water I like to use this to kind of prep the skin before makeup application it soothes the skin as well as makes the skin so much more soft and supple the next item I have in here is actually a makeup primer and this is by Revival Labs. I really love this primer for oily combination skin, oily dry skin, all kind of skin types is suitable to use this primer because it's really really good for all kind of skin types. I think that's just great. It's a really underrated makeup product. Next item I have is actually a sample size of the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, which is oil-free. I love this to put on um, porous skin or uneven skin, where you know the skin texture is very um, uneven. This will help to soothe it out and um, make it really, really smooth for makeup application. The next um, items are from the second drawer. So second. <clears throat> window is actually two primers setting sprays i have one clean and clear oil control film i like to use this for touching up uh, makeup i don't really like to use extra powder on top because it will make the face very cakey so i like to kind of remove the make uh, the oil instead first and then touch up with um powder because <clears throat> it helps the makeup to last at a longer period of time <clears throat> this one is actually a makeup primer spray which is an oil control one and this is by Scandinavia. You can't find this in Singapore, however you can find it at Discount Beauty, uh, Discount Beauty Boutique in Australia. Um, they have a website as well, I'll put the link to it um, if I could find the link. <clears throat> the next spray I have is actually the makeup finishing spray bridal I really really love this um, this finishing spray it gives a very natural glow to the skin um, nothing too excessive however it does make the skin look so beautiful it photographs beautifully as well and your makeup lasts a whole day this one is a combination of the oil control one is really amazing this helps control oil and this helps to um, prolong the longevity of your foundation throughout the whole day I really love this over here I have um, four more items in here I have the Maybelline makeup remover eye and lip um, makeup remover um, you can find the um, travel size at Watson's where you can find it in the travel section I really really love this it removes everything and I swear it removes everything it's amazing I have two NYX um, illuminators um, this is for like if the bright ones like um, if the session she wants me to do very glowy skin I will put this on her this is the born to glow liquid illuminator and this is in the color sunbeam much more better for a lighter skin tone because one of them has a very light skin tone 
The other one is uh, the same thing. However, this color is called Gleam. It's much more like a goldeny, um, bronzy color. I really love this one as well. And the last but not least in this pocket, <clears throat> it's actually one of my favorites. And this is the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Gel Cream. Okay, this one is really, really good for oily combination skin and um, normal to combination skin is because it's really really uh, hydrating however it does not make your skin oily it makes your skin super hydrated and makes your skin absorb the gel cream I think it's a really a fantastic product to have in your kit however I just wish it's in a small bottle so I can bring it around with me so yeah that's all in this three pockets I will um, I'll pack everything back and I'll show you what are the items in these two mesh pockets right here. Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, I'm here with four of the items that were in the first mesh kit. Um, I really love the fact that it's zipped up so the items won't fall off from the bag. So the first item on the left here is actually a Studio Fix Powder and this is by MAC. And this is in the color NC20. I like this to kind of... Um, um, set the under eyes if I want to but I really do it for the under eyes though I like to use it for as foundation as well as a foundation powder um, so this is definitely one of my favorites um, I, it's just one of the cult colors to have in your kit if you uh, need it the next item I have is actually give me sun and this is a natural uh, mineralized skin finish so it looks something like this let me just zoom it in for you Mineralized skin finish. Oh my god, I can't zoom. Hold on, guys. Yeah, so it just says like that. Give me sun. It's a, like a bronzer thing. I really love this for. I think it suits almost everyone. It's like those very universal colors. I think it's really, really nice. And this is in the new packaging. This one is Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, and this is in the color Medium Plus, which I assume that my client is this in this color. Um, I hope this fits her because um, I really do not bring anything else except for this one. So this is Mineralized, uh, Medium Plus uh, Mineralized Skin Finish. I really love this. It photographs beautifully, makes the skin look really, really natural, and I love the finely milk powder in this one. This is a new packaging. This one is also the same thing, same product, it's just the same, a different color and this color is called medium dark. I really like this for more tanner skin tones, I use it on myself as well, I have extra one for myself and I really love the natural finish it gives to the skin, uh, photographs beautifully as well. And this is in the old packaging, however I do prefer the old packaging because you can see through it. Um, however, I already labeled them like that, so whenever I put in the Zuka, I can automatically see what color from this single point. So, I really like that. I did that um, labeling. And here is just a small bottle of the What's Up um, highlighter by Benefit. Um, not my favorite, but it does make a very, very nice glow to the skin, however. Okay, let me just clean up everything and then I'll show you what's inside my next mesh pocket right here. Okay, I'm back and I'm right here in the second mesh pocket which was, was right here. I put my foundation and concealer contouring stuff in here. Uh, but these are all the creamy ones. So in on top here, I have the LA Pro Con Conceal Concealers. And this one is in the color, let me see. In the color Natural, one of my favorites. This is in the color Creamy Beige, one of my favorite as well. This one is in the color Warm Sand, one of my favorites. And Toast. So if you are still starting out as a makeup artist, these are the four concealers that you should have in your kit because they are super amazing for contouring and highlighting your client's face because they're really creamy and they're really really nice texture. However, you may not like the applicator because the applicator is a pain. I am not even kidding because as you can see, it's like those um, brush kind of 
a brush kind of applicator it takes forever to for the product to come out so I recommend you guys just um, cutting off the applicator and just use it from the tube directly I think that's a lot better um, Ellie Ellie girl please do something about your um, packaging because it sucks okay hold on while I show you the next item in this bag Okay, the next item in this bag is actually a Bobbi Brown a BBU palette. Um, you cannot find this at um, Bobbi Brown stores in Singapore. However, you can find it on Bobbi Brown website. If you are a makeup artist, you have just submit your part, uh, your um, publications or your work, and you will get the Bobbi Brown Pro discount. I think that's much more more. Um, worth it in the sense where you know you're able to do that and I think that's a really great bargain so over here it says um, Bobby Brown palette artist Bobby Brown he has correctors creamy concealers and the foundation sticks all in here so that's why I don't really bring any other foundations with me because this is this is it I only bring this for all my shoots and all my clients I think it's amazing so when you open up it opens up like a book and as you can see it has all the color correctors and concealers on one page and you can see me right there over here you can see all the correctors and concealers and you can see I've really used a lot of love I've made I've made a lot of love with this palette because it is seriously one of the most amazing investments I've made in my life. I've really done a lot of research on this and I think this is totally worth it instead of buying all the concealers. I think it's so much cheaper buying the palette as compared to just buying a few concealers that you think you will be using. When you flip the palette over like a book like that, over here you have all the foundation sticks from Bobbi Brown so for those who are not familiar with Bobbi Brown um, these are the foundation sticks that are uh, that twist up like a lipstick and you can find them standalone at Bobbi Brown stores however if you want to get this palette you have to go buy online however I did get it from an eBay seller so um, and she's a legit makeup artist I've really researched about her and she's really wonderful she makes this really affordable so people can buy it and um, all, all around the country can buy this as well if you are in Singapore you may want to look out for those um, Estee Lauder private sales I was informed by a friend that they were it was selling at 100 plus and I think that was a great bargain I bought this at so much higher price however it is nothing to regret because this foundation sticks are sensational I need to go and depart I need to go and get some more because I'm actually running out of a few colors pretty pretty soon so I really love this foundation palette by um, Bobbi Brown let me just go through with you what the rest of the items in the rest of my bag and I'll be right back as you can see in the middle section it holds a lot of stuff and I'm not even kidding when I say there's a lot of stuff in here okay let me just go through with you other items in here in here I place three palettes and um, two palettes are from Z palettes and this one is my my uh, my own creation tada whatever you call it um, I departed all my Catrice Tarte and MAC and blush um, sorry this is okay let me just open this up with you so you guys can see this one are tart this this and this are tart and this this and this are Catrice so these two are pro um, blushes and this I'm um, sorry the MAC pro blushes these are all sleek blushes as you can see I've really covered a lot of um, areas in terms of blush whenever I departed these blushes I really use them a lot for all my um, clients <clears throat> Even in my face charts, I use them and some of them were like, oh my god, this blush is so gorgeous. Where do you get it? And just say it's just $1.90. And this is the blush that we're always talking about. There's two blushes right here. And I always mix this Pro MAC blush with the Catrice one and nobody knew what color was that. So I really mix a lot of blushes for my work. And I range this from the lighter skin tone to the most darker skin tone in this palette. I really love this palette. This is the Extra Large C palette by, um, yeah. <laughs> okay in this one right here is also another palette I departed myself um, these are all MAC um, sorry not MAC uh, makeup geek and coastal sense shadows 
mostly in here. So um, it ranges from the lightest skin tone to the darkest shadow in here. As you can see, I have a lot of neutrals, warms, and cools in here. And I have a pop of color right down on the second row. Just in case my client wants a more a darker smoky eye or whatever. I really love those colors. Uh, if you guys are wondering where I get the Coastal Sense shadows from, I got it from the Note 28 Neutral Warm Palette. So that's why there's a mixture of cool and warm in here. Because um, for Makeup Geek, I got all the neutral um, cool colors. While I got the warm, um, the warm colors from the neutral warm palette from Coastal Sense, so I think it's a really good mixture of neutrals in here. Really good for everyday, for the everyday bright. So I really love these colors. And just in case I need more colors, I have the Lorac Makeup Pro palette. Um, as you can see, um, this is actually a pro. I not really a pro item. This is a limited edition item. So I do not know whether you guys can get this anymore in Singapore. However, I do put I'll put all the links if I could find them on eBay or something like that in case you're interested. So this is the Lorac Makeup Pro, and I've mentioned this before, and I'll mention it again. Lorac makes the one of the best eyeshadows in the world, and I'm not ever kidding when I say in the world because they're way better than MAC, they're way better than Urban Decay, um, so they're really really good quality eyeshadows and they're slightly pricey, however it's totally worth it. There's a huge mirror there so your client can see themselves and in here again there is a whole bunch of warms and cools in here um, and I love the fact there are 16 shadows for matte and 16 shadows for shimmer and um, satin finishes so I think that's really really great to put in your kit and I think these are all bridal colors and I think everyone can get past through this as you can see I've used it a lot and um, I really show this palette a lot of love as you can see it makes a lot of good good colors so if you guys can get a hold of this palette especially please do get it because it is seriously very good investment to have in your kit let me just go through with you other items in here. As you can see, the second compartment of the Zoeva Artist Bag has all these pink bands. And it's really, really useful because it holds a lot of your brushes. Of course, you can put your smaller palettes if they can fit in here. However, I can only put brushes in here because my palettes, as you can see, they are pretty huge. So they can't fit in any of the rubber bands. So in the first band right here, I have my Powder Puff by MAC. And this is a Z just a just an artist palette I got from a local seller in Singapore so um, these are two are just essential because you really do not want to double dip your foundations and your concealers so you need a artist palette for that and here I have a mirror a handheld one and I have all the foundation face brushes in here and mostly are from Zoeva and MAC and that's one Sonia Kashuk one I really love and I really love to use this with the Bobbi Brown palette because it is flat so it doesn't take up so much of this other space in the palette so I will go through with you what are the brushes in another time because it will seriously be a very long video and these are all the brushes that I'll be bringing today um, a mixture of um, flat brushes synthetic eyeliner brushes um, detailed brushes concealer brushes packing brushes brow brushes smudger brushes blending brushes here um, packing brushes some more packing brushes some kabuki like brushes in here so I can use um, primers and all that stuff and I have a highlighter brush in here to um, apply highlights with so that is all in my second compartment I really love this bag because it holds a lot of stuff and it holds pretty nicely so I can put all my palettes in there and I really like it I, I like the fact that this opens and stretches so it will not actually harm the bag that much so let's just go through to the next um, compartment in the Zoeva artist bag and as you can see the last compartment has the most number of stuff it calls like the most um, like miscellaneous stuff so over here I like to put like eye bases eye tools and mascara and all that in here and pigments so they're all in here this one are all lip stuff these are all other stuff like face stuff that couldn't fit in the mesh pockets here are all pencil liners and lip liners and one um, glitter glue by um, Too Faced. So uh, let me just check out all the stuff from this bag and I'll show you what are the items in this bag. Yeah. 
And in the first compartment right here, I've already removed all the items and they are on my bed right here. Let me just go through with you what the items in here. So the first bag that I have in here is actually the MAC Fast Response. I'm sorry, this is not the Fast Response. This is the 24-hour um, Extend Eye Base. We, uh, this is just a um, primer eye primer to make your eyeshadow last a lot longer. You cannot focus. Yeah. So this is the Prep and Prime um, 24 hour extend eye base. We love this for prepping the eyelids. Even the most oiliest eyelids have tried on them and it stays, the makeup stays. So I really love this one. The next eye base, I'm um, sorry, the uh, next item is actually a MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. I like to put this on the under eyes so that the concealer that is applied on the under eyes will stick to it. And it applies so much more smoothly and doesn't go into the fine lines. So it does do a lot of stuff. The next two items are by NYX and these are the NYX Jumbo Pencils. They are sensational. If you want to do a dark smoky eye or a light colored on the eyelids, you will need a good light color base. So I like to use the NYX Jumbo Pencils for that. I have in the color Milk, which is just a white color pencil. Uh, you can't focus, yeah. It's just a white one. And this one is called Black Bean, which is a normal black one. This is great for smoky eyes and all that stuff. So that's just it. In here, I have three eye bases. In here, I have the Bad to the... Uh, this is... What color is this? Uh, this is Bad to the Bronze. I like to do this for more bronzy looks. I do not like this on myself because it dries out like nobody's business. This is a Soft Ochre Pro Long Wear Paint Pot by MAC. And it is always a cult cult favorite among a lot of people. I just do not know why it's the hype with about this because I feel that Mac Maybelline does amazing shadows and this I applied yesterday as you can see and it till today it still lasts on my hands so can we just talk about the the Maybelline color tattoos they are amazing this is the Inglot gel liner in number 77 if you guys have not heard about the hype yet it is totally worth the hype because it is sensational it is the best eyeliner I've ever used super black super super good long lasting and it lasts on oily eyelids so it has stood the test of time it is seriously amazing however please be reminded to always keep it tight and shut because it will dry out like nobody's business so just a reminder and I have two eyelash curlers this one is just from Daiso I just changed the um, the gel sorry the rubber in here other than that you really do not need to buy an expensive eyelash curler if you are still starting out so this is just a conventional Daiso one I like however this is definitely worth the hype and this is by Shuemura um, it is one of the best eyelash curler I've ever used um, the hype is really, really, really um, worth it because it is seriously amazing. Um, what I do is just change the the um, rubber in there. This is called the S color. This helps to kind of curl your lashes. If you have very short lashes or you've really applied mascara and lashes and you really want to make the lashes um, flip up so that it will stay in place this is amazing for that because it doesn't have an open it doesn't have the um, ends like a normal conventional mascara oh, sorry eyelash curler does so this is seriously amazing for that purpose um, in here I have three types of eyelash adhesive I know it's it's too much but um, it is seriously um, needed to make um, these uh, eye looks I have a Sephora um, sharpener. This is just those um, big and small ones right here. I have a scissors, a pair of scissors to cut lashes, and I have three MAC pigments. These were from the holiday collection last year. And let me just go through the colors with you. This is tan, this is rose, and this is what color is it? Oh my god, I can't see. Rum something rouge. What is this called? Heritage Rouge. So I just bought three colors with me. So in here I have the Sephora um, Clear Mascara. I really like this for taming eyebrows. I have the mascara from La uh, Lights Camera Lashes and this is from Tarte. I really love that one. This is the Daryl Mascara. This is by Benefit. This is the NYX gel, eyebrow gel in the color... 
brunette as well as chocolate so these are the two colors I usually use as you can see I'm running out of them pretty soon so we love those um, stuff for my kit okay these are the stuff in my first compartment now I'll show you what are the things in my next compartment the next coat pocket has all the lip stuff so over here I have the MAC clear gloss um, you can find it at um, normal MAC stores I believe it's about $15 this is actually a um, Vaseline no I don't know if it's a Vaseline yeah it's a Vaseline petroleum jelly lip therapy like that for moisturizing the lips I have the model in the bottle lipstick sealer um, still testing out this because I'm not too sure if I want to apply it on my client yet so um, I'm just still starting out with this this is the MAC Prep and Prime uh, Lip uh, Applicator. Um, and this is really nice to make your lips super soft and supple. Um, helps to kind of make your lipstick application so much smoother. This is actually the Sephora Lip Stain in the number... Let me just see. Hold on. Let me just zoom you in. What color is this one? 06, I believe. Yeah. So, this is actually a very nice pink color. And I have a dark vampy color for um, another look. So this is the number 07. I really like this one. These are really sensational lip stains. If you want something that lasts a very long time on the lips, these are the Sephora lip stains. And they're really, really nice quality as well. So in here is my prized possession. And this is the Boy Brown Lip Artist Palette. Um, of course, it's almost like the same as the BBU palette. It has all the different pots for lipsticks and the best part is these lipsticks are all in their permanent collection so you will never find a limited edition color in this uh, palette as you can see I've really given this palette a lot of love it's seriously amazing um, something that you really want in your kit and it's very easy to depot and put it back all the colors so it opens up like a book like that and has all the neutrals and the reds as you can see, if, as you guys know Bobby Brown makes amazing lipsticks they are they are the ones that started out in her kit, I mean in her line, um, because they were popular for her lipsticks first. So this were her cult favorite, and this were known by Bobby Brown to be one of the amazing things to have in their kit. So um, if you have the money, please invest in this. It's seriously amazing, and you do not need to bring any other lipstick anymore, because seriously, it's all in this palette. Let me just go through with you the items that are next in the two other compartments. And I'll be right back. In the next compartment I have is actually all the powder stuff which didn't fit in the mesh pockets. In here I have two boy brown highlights. This one was limited edition, that one also. This is called Pink Glow. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. I mean, I've not given this enough love because I've been using the MAC one very, very often. So I really want to use this for today's shoot. So this one is called Pink Glow. If you can guide, find it on eBay, please do get it because it is seriously sensational. It's a beautiful highlight for lighter skin tones. The next one is actually called Bronze Glow and this is, I got it from Carousel, the, the seller didn't want it anymore so I bought it over it and it's amazing, I really love this palette. As you can see, it comes with a BBU palette like that, BB palette, so it shows like that. In here I deported the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pro palette and put it in a small Z palette so I can put it in here. So this has soft brown, chocolate, dark brown, and ebony in here, um, and the brow primer in here. So I put it in a small Z palette so that's much more easier to travel with. In here I have the sleek um, contouring palette and this is in the color medium. Let me just show you what color is this one. Can't focus. Yeah, the color medium there. This is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. Um, I really like this to kind of contour slash bronze the skin. So I will bronze the skin with the Gimme Sun by MAC and then I will contour with this shade by NARS. So these are the items that are in the second compart the third compartment. Now I will show you what the items on here. So I hope you guys can see. This is actually just a NYX white pencil, a Rimmel scandalized pencil in black and in the color nude. And these are three Urban Decay's 24-7 um, glide-on pencils, if you guys can, can see, in blue, purple, and brown. Over here I have a, mis I have a mixture of um, Catrice lip liners, Avon, and LA Girl. In here I have a liquid eyeliner. This is just to kind of um, touch up any glue if I've done eyelashes. And in here I have the Essence Long Lasting uh, Lip Light Eyeliner, which is in gold color. And I have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance um, Glitter Glue, which is good for adhering pigments and all that stuff. 
oh I forgot to mention there is a Kryolan stick I use this to cover up eyebrows and conceal brows um, just in case I need to do that um, yeah that is all guys I hope you guys did enjoy this video um, it's seriously a sneak peek into my uh, makeup bag um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and see you guys soon bye guys